A Pattern for Pepper by Julie Crawless. Pepper needs a dress for a very special occasion. Only the most perfect dress will do. So she and her mother have come to Mr. Taylor's shop to have one made just for her. It's Pepper's first time at Mr. Taylor's, her family's favorite tailor shop and the oldest and busiest in the town. A bell tinkles as Pepper and her mother step into the warm and cozy store. Hello, I'm Pepper and I need a dress for a very special occasion, she says. I'm pleased to meet you, Pepper, says Mr. Taylor. You've come to the right place. First thing first, let's take your measurements, Mr. Taylor says. Pepper stands on a stool while Mr. Taylor starts measuring. Next, we'll need to choose the fabric for your dress. Fabrics are textiles, and textiles come in all sorts of patterns, he says. Let me show you what I got. Patterns are everywhere, says Mr. Taylor. See the floor? It's a herringbone pattern, inspired by the skeleton of a herring fish. We could use a herringbone fabric for your dress. What do you think? Fish are nice, but it's too cold underwater for me. No, thank you, says Pepper. How about seersucker? Like your mom's dress. It's perfect for this warm summer weather, Mr. Taylor says. Opening the window, the world seer sucker comes from the Persian seer o sucker, which means milk and sugar because of its smooth and bumpy textures. I like my tea strong without milk and sugar. No, thank you, says Pepper. What pattern is your suit? Pepper asked. Oh. This is tartan. It comes from Scotland, and it's woven with wool in checkered patterns. Tartan is used for clothing, hats, and even bagpipes. Oh no! Bagpipes are just too loud. No, thank you, says Pepper. The rug you're lying on is a hunstoose pattern, says Mr. Taylor. It has small four-pointed cheeks that make shapes like Hans' teeth. My grandfather wore this pattern while hunting in the Scottish lowlands. Will Hans' stews work for you? I like dogs, but special occasions require more color, I think. No, thank you, says Pepper. Who is this? asks Pepper. Me, I cat says Mr. Taylor. He's named after a fabric with a fancy hand dyeing process. ICAP means to bind, to knot, to wing around in the Malay Indonesian man language. That sounds complicated. Yesterday my hair was so naughty it took four hours to sort it all out. No thank you, says Pepper. What pattern are in my socks? Pepper asked with her feet in the air. Your sock pattern goes back to the 17th century or earlier in the Western Scottish Highlands. Argyle is a design of overlapping diamonds and diagonal lines, and it's often used for golf clothes. I do like to play golf, but I think I want my dress pattern to be prettier than that. No thank you, says Pepper. See that man walking by outside, says Mr. Taylor. His suit is a pink trip pattern. Some baseball teams use pink trip too, like the white sock. How would you like pink strip for your dress? He looks kind of glum. I need something extra fun for my special day. No thank you, says Pepper. Take a look at this photo of your grandma, said Miss, Mr. Taylor says. She married a fellow from Switzerland 
and I made her wedding dress from textile created there called Dotted Swiss. It's a delicate, lightweight fabric with a small dotted pattern woven on top. Ooh, pretty, but too plain for me. No thank you, says Pepper. The chair you're sitting on is made with toilet, a fabric from France with hand-drawn skin scenes Seems. of the French countryside, says Mr. Taylor. Hmm, this countryside looks too busy. No thank you, says Pepper. Mr. Taylor, what if I don't like any of these patterns? Not to worry, Pepper, Mr. Taylor says. Your perfect pattern is in here somewhere. So let's see. Your pattern has to be pretty and strong. It has to be warm and fun. Not too plain, but not too complicated either. Colorful, but not too busy. Hmm. He stops and thinks. Aha! I have just this thing. He pulls a ball of fabric from the shelf. Pepper's eyes light up. That's it, she says. That's the one. Pepper and Mr. Taylor get to work, sketching designs for the dress. When they finish their design, Mr. Taylor draws it on a huge roll of paper. He cuts out the pieces and pins them to the fabric. Then he cuts out the pieces of fabric, pins them together, and begins to sew. He works all afternoon. When it's time for a fitting, Pepper stands patiently as Mr. Taylor makes a few less alterations. The dress is finally ready. Your perfect pattern is pencil-y. Mr. Taylor says, a very old pattern inspired by pencons and shoots of a date palm and the pods of cashew fruit. Paisley was created in Kashmir, India, where it was used for hand-woven shawls and later it became popular in the town of Paisley, Scotland, where the pattern got its name. Pepper hugs Mr. Taylor. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. It is perfect, she says. I can't wait to wear it. Pepper puts on her new dress for her special day. She arrives at her grandma's house for an afternoon of tea and croquet in the garden. Happy birthday, Grandma. I love your mm. herringbone dress, she says. Pepper and her grandma sip tea, eat scones, and wet balls through hoops under summer sun, each in her own perfect pattern.